Hey folks, this is going to be a pretty rambly video, uh, discussion video, going over uh, some some truths about what we're doing here at the channel. Whether you choose to believe me or not is obviously up to you. I can only speak my truth, but uh, what I want to talk about is why I passionately cover Nintendo Switch 2 every day, or Cover maybe is a bit of a strong word. You know, there's not like major leaks and rumors all the time. But why I'm constantly talking about the system every day, including this video uh, itself, uh, there's a lot that goes on out there. And I, I realize that if you are a hater of mine or poo-poo or don't like what I do, nothing I say is really going to matter. I mean, if you want to get down to the brass tacks, yeah, of course, I make money on my YouTube channel that automatically means that everyone assumes there's nefarious reasons for the things I do. Uh, so it is what it is. It is my job. I do uh, make money on the channel. Every video I put up does make me money. Uh, none of it makes me enough money to, like, I don't know, support the family, <laughs> to be honest. Our live streams and the support of the community is really uh, what takes care of my full-time status here on YouTube. But, yeah, obviously we make money on our uh stuff right we make money on our live streams we make money on our videos uh and yeah people are really interested in talking about it of course i i do try to talk about some other things at times i talked about uh, nintendo taking down you know rio jinx or whatever that emulator the other day got about half to one fourth of the views that you know talking about switch 2 does because people just aren't as interested in it and plus after the whole yuzu situation yeah, I don't know. Maybe it feels like it's just repetitive news. Beats me. I've done some coverage of Echoes of Wisdom as well. It doesn't do as well. And the bottom line is, obviously, Switch 2 stuff gets views and it makes money. I think that's obvious. I don't think we need to beat around the bush or bullshit about that. That's, that's kind of how it works at this channel. But here's the thing. That's not actually why I do this. Same reason that I was making a ton of Tears of the Kingdom videos last year. Now, I get to switch shoes a bit of a different situation. I've essentially been talking about it since 2022. And if you want to go back all the way to like the Switch Pro rumors, I think those began, gosh, technically began all the way back in 2017. But like in earnest, like 2019 uh, came to a head in 2021. And then obviously we didn't get a Switch Pro. We ended up getting a Switch OLED. And then things kind of died down for a bit until the NVIDIA leak in summer of 2022, which gave us, you know, MVN2 and led to us with the T239 and all this other stuff that looks like it's all about Nintendo Switch 2. And so since 2022, there's definitely on and off been long periods where I've talked about Switch 2 quite a bit. Uh, there was a, a little bit in 2022 leading up until my Tears of the Kingdom coverage. Then we did a ton of Tears of the Kingdom coverage. Then we took a small break, a couple of videos during the summer, and then we went right into Mario Wonder coverage. And then we came back to Switch 2 uh, at the end of 2023 and went all the way through, I would say, about February to March of 2024 when, you know, obviously the reported delay happened. And then summer, it kind of died out. Uh, we talked about it here and there during the summer, but it wasn't really too prevalent until rumors and reports and whatever started kicking up again around August and then we've been talking about it since and at this point with Nintendo having given us the timetable where we really only have six months maximum until this thing is revealed a little bit less than six months now that we're a few days into October I don't foresee a long suspended break from talking about Nintendo Switch 2 coming at this point. I think at this point, we'll be talking about Switch 2, if not every day, most days, all the way up to reveal, all the way through launch, and obviously onward after that, it's all the game coverage for the system and everything else. Uh, so why am I doing it? I, I read your comments. I know some of you are annoyed. Some of you are sick of it, but some of you love it. Some of you get it. And I want to equate this to my childhood. <laughs> When I was a kid, all right, I didn't have a lot of people uh, to that played Nintendo. I was like the only person in my school that played Nintendo. As an example, I went to a small private Catholic school growing up, and I, I was like it. Everyone else around me played Xbox and PlayStation. Uh, PlayStation when I was younger, then when, as I got towards middle school and high school, Xbox came in, and then that became the cool system. And Nintendo was always kind of laughed at, and I was told I was playing kiddie games and had dealt with all the bullying with that. But one thing that was a lot of fun, especially in the early days of the internet, and then, you know, as I started finding a couple online friends to converse with about it, 
was talking and speculating and having fun with the idea of what the future of Nintendo is. Sometimes it would do with a game. Guys, remember, <laughs> this is a throwback to the 90s and the early 2000s. Remember when we all were trying to beat the running man in Ocarina of Time? Or we swore that you could obtain the full Triforce in the standard game if you just did X, Y, and Z? Or that there was a fourth piece of the Triforce able to be found in a chest somewhere? I remember frantically the early days of the internet making us believe all this fake stuff uh, and having a lot of fun with it. Honestly, there was like no harm or foul with none of that being true. You know, when you find out in the end that it wasn't true, it's kind of just a good laugh and you laugh at how silly the idea of that stuff even was, especially when the game was already released. And you could literally just check the code base to see if any of that stuff was possible. But the early days of the internet, people weren't data mining as much and stuff. And then you get to things like new systems. There's nothing quite like a new system launch. I don't know how to explain it. My hype for Zelda games and Mario games and Kirby and is really, really high. But there's nothing quite like a system launch because they don't happen very often. Now, I think just the home console space. If I go all the way back to what I actually remember, I don't remember the launch of the Nintendo Entertainment System or the Super Nintendo. I was quite young for that stuff. Did have them in my house, but I don't remember talking about it with anyone but i do remember talking about the n64 after it came out uh more so playground arguments with people over n64 versus playstation right that was like a huge play playground argument but then it really began in the early days of the internet with dolphin when dolphin rumors came out and there was a billion rumors about what ended up becoming the nintendo gamecube just so many infinite rumors and every single day for literally multiple years i was just stoked to go online and read the latest stuff whether it was true or untrue about dolphin and part of the excitement was when the system was actually revealed to see how much of this stuff we've been talking about speculating and reading all these billions of rumors about were actually true Right? It, there, there was just a lot of anticipation to see how much of this is true. And the same thing happened again with Wii. That was during my high school years. Uh, you know, we came out uh, right when I got out of high school. But during high school, there was all this like, what is the revolution? What is this thing? What, what are we talking about? And all these speculation and rumors and everything up until they revealed the motion controls. Uh, man, it was, it, it was insane. Obviously, we had that cycle happen again with Nintendo Switch. Uh, and there was a ton of rumors, a ton of hype, a ton of other stuff. I wasn't really uh, paying as much attention, admittedly, at that point in my life. Uh, when Nintendo Switch came out in 2017, uh, I was still doing Wii U, and I was just really focused on Breath of the Wild at the time. I really wasn't paying attention. I, I went to E3 2016, played Breath of the Wild, I was working at Zelda Informer. That was the first like console launch that I really wasn't heavily involved in the rumor sphere, really paying a ton of attention. And I kind of regret it because it made the launch of Switch not feel as exciting to me, believe it or not, because I didn't go through a hype cycle for it. I was so hyped for Breath of the Wild, and that's an amazing thing to be hyped for, but I never got hyped for the actual system. The first time ever that I didn't follow all the rumors and all the conversations. And on top of that, I had never really celebrated console launches with other people. It's just never happened in my life. Not with Nintendo, anyways. I've been at the Xbox launches. I've been to some Nintendo console launches, you know, the 3DS launch, uh, the Wii U launch. Unfortunately, uh, those console launches ended up being not that exciting because people weren't as excited for the 3DS or as excited for the Wii U. And those are the two console launches for Nintendo I went to in person, hoping to find fellow Nintendo fans. And instead, it was like crickets and a couple parents walking in it was not a great experience for me because i just wasn't around fellow nintendo fans i didn't have a community to celebrate it with i didn't have you know people in real life to really celebrate it with so in comes the switch 2 we're now a nintendo youtuber we now built this community of people to get hyped with and get excited with for the launch of the system and what this is doing is taking me back to my childhood, man. I'm all the way back being that little, you know, 10-year-old, 12-year-old, 15-year-old, just digging up everything I can on the internet to talk about and just have fun conversations about the Nintendo Switch 2. Look, it's no secret out there that I'm banned from family boards, but gosh darn it if I'm not there every single day scouring, you know, the Switch 2 threads because I'm just enjoying the conversation and I'm... I'm hating that I got myself banned there because I can't participate in the conversation there. But you know what I can do? If something interesting pops up that I really want to talk about, I can go ahead and bring that conversation right here, whether it's in a live stream or a video, and have that conversation with all of you. 
I get to put all my thoughts out there and then read all your comments to it and respond to some of them. And it's just, just such an exciting time for me. And I, I genuinely have this like childlike enthusiasm for the launch of this new platform. And I understand all the criticisms of what I'm doing. I get it. Oh, it's clickbait. Or, oh, he's lying to us. Oh, it's this. He's posting knowingly fake things. When I don't know what's fake and real in this world anymore, man. Uh, there's plenty of stuff that I know 100% is fake. I haven't posted about Switch 2. I know people will reference the times that I've made some mistakes like that, but we just got to be honest. There's a lot of crap I'm not covering about Nintendo Switch 2. Did you know at one point there was like uh, rumors out there about this thing using like a Samsung like cell phone processor or rumors it might use AMD stuff? Did you see me make videos on that? Did you see me actually make videos on that? The answer is no, because I didn't, because I knew it was bullshit. I've known since 2022 when it leaked from NVIDIA. It's the T239. It's, you know, it's the MVN2 stuff. I've known since 2022. So why would I go out there and post stuff that I already know is fake? That doesn't make any sense. So uh, I'll give an example. I put a video up the other day, you know, talking about uh, <laughs> talking about the scroll wheel uh, buttons, right? And it came from this just random person over on Gaming Leaks and Subreddit, Gaming Leaks and Rumors Subreddit. That's just like a trust me, bro situation. But I didn't post about it because that person made it. I posted about it because it was brought back up by him because we already had prior rumors on this. We already had an old rumor about the scroll wheel shoulder buttons. We already had a patent about it. Nintendo's considered the idea and Sakurai has suggested it. Like there's multiple tiers of things that make it a relevant thing to talk about. And while I had talked about it a while ago, I think it's fun sometimes to revisit some of those conversations as we get closer and closer and closer to it actually being revealed. So we can talk about these things and find out what if any of this stuff is actually legit and real and be excited together at what ends up coming out. And that's just the way I am. Like, I don't get disappointed that, you know, it was delayed, you know, supposedly internally delayed from March, you know, of this year being revealed to sometime later this year or next year, right? I'm not actually upset about that. I don't get upset that I lost my hot chip challenge for it being revealed in September. Oh no, I have to eat a hot chip. Dude, I, I made a bet. I made a bet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to own that shit. I'm going to eat that hot chip. I'm going to torture myself, and we're going to move on, right? We're going to have some fun with me being wrong, and we're going to move on because that's what I believe we sh should be doing. And if you're tired of the Switch 2 conversations, you don't got to watch. I don't know about you, but I don't watch things that I'm not interested in watching. If a channel's making content I don't want to watch, I just don't watch that content, right? That's, that's me, but I love talking about switch i want to make it clear i'm not making the videos because they get views and make money i was getting views and making money before i talked about switch 2. i'm making the videos specifically because i love talking about switch 2. when i'm not making a video i'm reading and conversing about switch 2. when i'm not making a video i'm sitting there in the back talking to andres restart talking to mike odyssey talking to thunderstash talking to game junction talking to my youtube friends about switch 2 behind the scenes i'm getting excited about it. or maybe i'm over on my discord server talking a little bit with the fans maybe i'm on twitter talking a little bit about it with people i literally am just talking about it non-stop because it's what i'm interested in it's what i'm excited for i've never gotten to do this guys I've never gotten to like enjoy the hype cycle for a Nintendo system watch with fellow Nintendo fans. And this is such an exciting time for me with all the craziness going on in my real life, right? Things with my family and everything else that I'm not gonna divulge here because that is too personal. But with all the craziness of real life and you guys know what some craziness can be out there. You guys have crap going on in your life, right? You've had some bullshit, some you know, family drama. So you guys have had crap happen in your life. I have crap happening in mine as well. But to be able to set that stuff aside for a small moment every day and talk about something I'm genuinely excited for is something I actually wake up and look forward to. It gives me a reason to get out of bed and come to work. So yeah, we'll talk about other Nintendo news when there's other exciting things to talk about that interest me. But right now, my number one focus is on Nintendo's next platform. And I'm going to do everything I can to get that Switch 2 pre-ordered. I'm going to do everything I can to get the two of them. That's right, two of them that we're going to be giving away. I'm going to do everything I can to bring you all the best coverage imaginable when all the real info starts dropping. And when I get my hands on the system and I get to explore it and figure out different tips and tricks. 
right? When I get to compare how games run on it compared to Switch and compared to PlayStation and Xbox. I'm so excited to dive into all the launch coverage for a new 3D Mario game, if that's what we get. A new Kirby, a new cat, whatever, the one two, the one two switch, whatever the heck they end up launching. I'm so excited for this stuff that I could talk about this all day, every day. So that's what I do. Does it get repetitive sometimes? Of course. And I don't care. Because I'm fucking loving it, man. I'm loving every moment of it. So why do you think on our live streams, you know, we have this thing called uh, Haters Tears. It's a little drink we do in honor of the haters. Why do you think we have it? Because not even, not even you negative Nancys out there can get me down on my hype. No matter if it's revealed tomorrow, revealed in March. Heck, what if Nintendo delays it beyond that and it's not revealed until sometime next summer? None of that's going to get me down. Because Nintendo's already confirmed the bad boy's coming. The next generation is coming. The Nintendo Switch successor is on the way. That alone is the only reason I need to talk about this every day. So I'm going to keep it going. You can think I'm clickbaiting. You can think I'm this. You can think I'm that. You can think I'm misleading the herd. But I love talking about this system. So I'm going to keep it going. I am Nathaniel Rovogance from Nintendo Prime, and I am, at the moment, presently, a Nintendo Switch 2 YouTuber, and I like the way that sounds. Catch you in the next video.